surprised at how like tight your feet are. You never think about it. Like your ankles or your feet? No, feet. Yeah. You have tendons underneath your feet. That you know, from wearing shoes and walking and training, they take a beating. And we never really nobody massages their feet. Like who gets foot massage or who foam rolls their feet? People they ignore the feet completely. My feet are messed up. That's why I gotta take good care of them. Plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis. A lot of people get that. That's what it is. So I stretch my hips. And lower leg. for my fans. You see how that works? You see that? This is really Elliot Hulse is such a poet. I turn off the fans to support my fans. That's worse than my mayonnaise time. You were there, right? Chris was talking about how, what about when you got recipes and there's ingredients in the recipes what are the ingredients of the ingredients? Yeah, I texted him on Saturday night about that. How about that mayonnaise though? Eggs and shit? Inside jokes. That's funny. Inside jokes. Oh, Chris thought he was deep one day. That was funny though. I appreciate it though. I appreciate you sharing that with us. I got to tell you all a story on my man. This is a bad example. And I kept going with it. I'm like, yeah, this sounds really bad. I'm going to say it anyway though. Yeah, this would probably be a, good, be a good opportunity to ask people who should we invite as a potential guest for these shows? Because, you know, have, we had maybe two people already, but I don't know, basically we have to be somebody that can come and train at 4 o'clock on Monday and just be a part of our little training session. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. Oh, Strength Camp Challenge is a wrap. Oh, we're gonna tell you guys about it pretty soon. We're making a video this week. This week or next week. Yeah, what, well, we already have the events. We do, but I was, I'm just curious to see what they would say. Ask me, coach. Okay, go. Go. We were just curious to see, right, what events you guys think should be in the straight cam challenge so just leave a comment below and the one with the most likes might get some love six sets of one look at that and then one arm rows chin ups basically what you guys have been watching us do like with these training sessions for the past couple weeks has been one Olympic lift, working specifically on our weakness. Today is going to be the transition between the clean and the jerk. Followed by, really just followed by bodybuilding. Some weeks with a higher intensity, lower volume. Some weeks with higher volume, lower intensity. Like last week we did 10, 8, 6, 15, which is kind of like a scale, what do we call it, like a pyramid type set. This week we just go a little bit heavier, maybe sets of five or something. I'll probably write all this down eventually. We'll make a video specifically about this program. It's a lot of fun. Look, this is not the type of program that's going to make you Olympic style caliber. You know, those guys, they, they focus only on the Olympic lifts. But it keeps you functional, agile, athletic, strong, mobile, and jacked.
Chris, what do you know about? What? So what do you know about boats? You about boats? Oh, we were talking about it. A little skip. Yeah, he gave me some yeah. Yeah. A little trolling motor. John boat. Hey, catch all kinds of fish and crabs. Oh. Oh. See what you got. See what you got, Mr. Barter. go out on the island and like you bring your family out there, now that's a fun time because you could camp on the island. Really? Now here you go to my island you go camping? Yeah, yeah, we go all the time. That's what we did for my niece's birthday. I would love You to go out there, you, you get everybody from the top out to the island, you set up like camping, set up like tents. See, that's the kind of things I enjoy doing more so than you know, resorts and like I'd rather not go on vacation and just do something like that instead spend a whole lot of money on like resorts and, and traveling. Well, if you went to an island party, you have to Well, to me, the most important thing is, is the people I'm with. And if I can show, allow everyone to have a good time, children, adults, you know, just, just a good time. That's why I enjoy having barbecues. I enjoy inviting people over to my house. That's really what it is. That's why it's something that I can, I can have the people I care about the most enjoy themselves. That's it. So whatever that is, whatever that looks like. So Yeah. I got that. Yeah, just go, just go buy a cabin on the Swanee River. On the Swanee River? That's beautiful, yeah, I know. Awesome. But then again, I mean, how often am I going to go all the way out there? It's like a three-hour drive almost. Yeah. There's amoebas. What? Amoebas. You don't know about them amoebas? I'm just doing singles. What are, what are those? Uh, like bacteria? Yeah, amoebas. Yeah, what are you, why are you saying that? Swanee. They can get you sick, right? Yeah, remember that story? I got sick from amoebas. Did you? Yeah, when I was in um, Dominican Republic. No, where? I swallowed some of the waters and... and uh, you swallowed it? Usually it's only when you like... Goes in your nose or like in your. I I, can't, I didn't know how to swim well back then. Oh, okay. I swallowed oh. some water, got my stomach. Don't fucking laugh at me, bro. <laughs> I can swim now. <laughs> this was like this eight months ago. But I can swim now because we got the pool. But um, yeah, and then I got tested. I got my my poop tested, and I had amoebas. So I, I, I hear it. when it goes like in your nose, like it gets, gets bad. It gets even worse. Yeah. Or in your dick if you piss. What? Yeah. I heard that shit. I think it was me. I think it was me, but I gotta double check. I have the paper at home. But I got sick. I was I was shitting and pissing. I was pissing out my butt. Let me put it that way. <laughs> I was pissing and throwing up on both ends. Good. That looks solid. So bro, we were jerking pretty heavy. We jerked. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to get over the name of these exercises. I don't know who came up with them, but you guys giggle like teenagers. You said jerk. I mean, we were jerking so hard last night, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta laugh too. And that jerk up real heavy. Yeah, we were jerking hard. We jerked up to 140. And we were cleaning 130s. So we should be able to get up to pretty close between 130 and 140 today. We're just doing singles.
I'm just beasting right now. It's delight. So I feel like Olympic lifts could give like the average gym goer at least something athletic to do in the gym. Because a lot of guys that want to be more athletic, it's like not like they can't flip tires at LA Fitness. There's no stones. Besides the fact you can't drop it, what do you think? I'm saying, I don't know. I mean, I'm so ignorant about what happens in can't do that. typical gyms. Yeah, I really don't know. So They'll kick I you out. To do this shit, but I do hang They'll kick you, know, you know, out of most gyms right? if you do this. Uh, huh? They'll kick you out. Yeah. Just for it's, just like, it's weird. You know what the most fucked up thing is? You can't lift that gyms anymore. I mean, that's really what it is. You, there, you can't lift, you can't train at gyms. All you can do is a certain prescribed exercise that they allow you to do. That there are fixed machines and dumbbells that go up to 80. You can't make noise. Either. You can't make noise. That's, we, that's why it needs to be a movement. Garbage man, look. That's why I got in front of you though. We'll catch him. We'll catch him next time, my bad. I got it. Um, yeah, this is this needs to be a movement, and it's not like it's a fucking new movement. Cause CrossFit's doing this shit. Zach Evan Nash has been talking about this shit forever. But you gotta have your own gym. You have to have like a place where you can really fucking train, even if it's just like in your backyard, with rusty plates. You have to have a place where you can really let loose. Fucking garbage man, bro. You think the garbage man watches my videos? <laughs> funny. He knows what time to come because he mentioned it. Yeah, <laughs> he watched my videos like, yeah, I know when that motherfucker's recording. Got it. Yeah, make it your purpose to find a place to really train. Come on. You okay? You should probably stretch on the stool. <laughs> Get on that stool, dog! Bioenergetic stool! Elliot Hull sounds crazy. So uh, let's go up 30 more pounds. That brings us to 140. That's what we were jerking. That's a lot. That's a big fucking jump. That's a big jump. Go up a little bit slower, right? I need to get under it. So, 110. Because then I'm just, if I jump up that way, so I lose four. Hey. Hey, what is it? At the end of the day, whoever comes up with the biggest number. Total number or one rep? One rep. Cleaning way more than the jerk. Our jerk is stronger. So, really, you put them two together. Nah, I got it. I got this. I see. I got this. Sorry. That was 130. 130. I got this. A couple more times. Long rest, and I'm going heavier. Hey, hang out. 
He's about to move this weight. If that falls on you, break your skull or your foot. So come on down from there. Do me a favor. What was it again? Josh. Joshua. Joshua. Hang out right here before he goes. You guys want to chill and watch, that's cool. But stuff here can hurt you. Oh, hey. So you guys lift at your school? Yeah, with my coach. You do this every day. Build some muscle? Almost every day, about three times a week. You can build muscle to outside. Yeah. Too. I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. Yeah, let, let, let Mr. Chris. This is this is Chris, by the way. What's up, fellas? <clears throat> Two hundred and forty-two pounds. Good. That looks a lot better. That's two, so how much do you weigh? I weigh like 125. 125? And how much do you weigh? 125. So that's 250 basically. So that's the two of you. That's how much you weigh. You can lift that? I lift more than that. Well, that's my warm up. That's his back. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a Come over here, let me get you guys busy. Look like you guys looking for something to do. Slippers too. Um, oh. Take a little break. Hang on, let me do. Let me set up my weights. And we'll try that again. I'll, I'll give you a hand with it. You gotta flip it. Good. Fight with it, fight with it. Let's go. Come on, go. Uh, not bad. Wanna try next? What was it, Nico? Tico, my bad. Wait, 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 wait. Get closer to it. Good, both, watch me. You're trying to do this and this. Get right up on it. You see where I am? My body's touching it. You. Just listen, listen, listen. Yeah, you got it, bro. Come I'm on. gonna lift it with you. This guy got it. Good. Go on. Good. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hurt you, I'm strong, boy. Getting it in, boy. Yeah, I can't do Don't that. Don't get too excited about yourself just yet. Just yeah. learning. Don't get too excited. You want to try it? Come this way. Right here. You're going to flip it that way. Yeah, lean into it and pull. So put it on your foot, put it on your leg. Good, now you can control it and throw it over. Come on, throw it. Go. Just like Come on. football practice. Yeah, just like football practice. Go, 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 go. So you play football? I'm You do? Come on, one more. This is your turn. Let's go. And then Mr. Chris has got it. Now be aggressive, mad at it. Dude, come on. Yep. Yeah. 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 Stick with it. Do Stick, with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Good. Good. Don't hit the moped. 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 You gotta get your one knee. You gotta get one knee under it. Way up. Yep. So get it. How many did you get? All the way down, all the way up. You like to talk. Wait a second, I thought you were talking shit just now.
Press it. <laughs> These little guys out here, look, they throw it. Come on, man. You got to throw it. You got to throw it all the way down like I do it. Oh, I think they want to leave. Huh? They're trying to leave. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, don't let them leave yet. <laughs> yep, you guys trying to leave already? Yeah, we got somewhere to be. Hold on, you don't want to do one more thing? I do. Oh. Alright, man. Who wants to do that? Right, I mean, bro. You play football, right? Oh, I'll do that. Watch me, hold on. You got to push it from here. You see? One, two, three, and then there's those other set of three lines to the beginning of the frost to that other set. Good! He's already fired. Come on! Come on! Better shape. He's in a little bit better shape than Ja. Get big, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> you like to talk. That's the strongest muscle on him right here. Good job. I can back him up. Alright, you gotta go. That is some water. Man. Yeah, I bet you want some water, huh? But here's the thing. I don't have a cup. Y'all have to share one cup. Is that cool? Straight. Who's got the dirtiest mouth? Then you go oh, last. Yeah. Dirtiest mouth goes last. I don't got no dirtiest mouth. <laughs> Wait, here's how you know who got the dirtiest mouth. Which girl, which, who be messing with the ugliest girl? No! That's baby Tyron Matthew. <laughs> You know what, I figured this week it would go out the window. It's just whatever I had to do to get it going, but. Couple sets of chin ups. And one arm rows. I think that's gonna be it for me. Super set. We'll do super set chin up and one arm rows. Just like principles of training. Oh. Right? Principles of muscle building, Elliot Hulse. Super set. What should we do next week? Drop set. Like one in the rack drop sets, 30%. Redu reduce 30% each set. So let's do drop sets. We're just gonna start doing competitions. What kind of competitions? You and Chris. This is, you think, you think it's not a competition? 
Are we fucking training sessions of competition? I'm training them on. Grit your teeth type of entertainment competition. You can do it. How about this? How about this? We asked the people. We asked you guys a lot of fucking shit today. We gotta read the comment section. What type of events would you like to see Chris and I compete in? Right? And it don't even have to be a whole workout. It could be like, okay, they want to see, they want to see sprint. Chris is, Chris, <laughs> listen, Chris is an athlete, bro. There's, there's no question about it. You gotta be a status trait, though. Squat, but not deadlift. Is that what the folks want to see? Bill Murray, Bill Murray, Bill Murray, Bill Murray, Two twenty-five for reps, whatever. Two twenty-five reps. Whatever you guys want to see. Maybe we'll fuck around and do it. I'm just, I'm just gonna go Matt, watch Matt Lock. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm out of here. Go to watch Matt Lock. Whoever said that, please stand up. <laughs> Make yourself known. That was hilarious. We were dying. Danny's just said, Danny walks in and says, Yo, I'm out of here, boys. I'm gonna watch Matt Lock. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that, bro. I don't know the reason to be tired. Yeah, it's so random. That's why it's funny. It's funny because it's random. Like Andy Griffin. Oh, weird. That's what makes it funny. Look, I spit up all over my my book. Laughing. Let's chill out so Chris can focus. All right. I'm bullshit. Come on, man. You haven't hit this yet, have you? Come on. It's that weekend. Good. Jump and get out of that shit. What are you guys doing now? Chin up, uh, weighted chin up, uh, followed by one arm row. Both. Both. You don't need to come They have one to keep Somebody posted on my Facebook wall today a picture of his foot. He dropped a dumbbell on his foot and broke up all the bones in his fucking foot. And I took a picture of it. It was black and blue. It just looked mangled. I be lifting barefoot. But I'm saying, if you're barefoot or not, you drop some shit on your foot, you fucking it up. Even if I have on something. Right, you know, yeah, then you're done. Even if you have on sneakers, so people get nervous when they see you barefoot lifting, but it's like, wait a second, you think you're protected with your fucking sneakers on? There ain't no better. Yeah. <laughs> 
the thing is with CrossFit, it, it's interesting because it's open to everybody. You know, it's like it, it's available to everybody. It's not like you know, there's not that political infrastructure, huh? There's no gatekeeper. Right. I mean, I don't know the, the, the true politics and logistics of it, but essentially, it seems like anybody can throw their hat in the ring, right? Yeah. So, what that also does is it creates false hope in a lot of ways because it's like, well, anybody can do it. So they don't realize, no, you don't just do that shit after work. That's not just some shit that you do as a hobby. That becomes your life, your lifestyle. Just like a professional basketball player, just like an Olympic weightlifter, just like a gymnast, just like any other professional sport. You gotta treat that shit like it's your full-time job. I still like football. But well, I'll tell you what, I took look at some of those smaller leagues though. I mean, you don't have to go to the NFL to keep playing football. You love the see here's the thing, because we're phallic narcissists. We want to win some. We want to have a particular title. But if you really love the thing that you're doing, you do it because you just love to do do the fucking thing. If you love football, then just go play fucking for the sharks. St. Pete Sharks. Just put on a helmet and pad and just play because you love it. You gotta ask yourself, what's the true motive? Is it to prove myself or it's because I love this thing? It's not right or wrong, it's just being clear about it. I've gotten to a point where just, just because of my, my life, like I'm done, I don't have to prove anything anymore, like I'm done proving. So if I do it, it has to be like, because I want to. I can see us doing strongman shows again next year. But like I see those dudes like the kids from Hawaii used to show me these cats called the All Blacks. Oh, that those shit. Those dudes get serious with it. And this, I mean, this, this is the biggest difference. You can't be as aggressive. You got to temper the aggression and you got to last longer. Because with football, it's like bang, 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 bang. bang. Good, I got this. With rugby, it's like hoo, 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 bang, get back. Hoo, 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 bang, get back. Hoo, hoo. You see this? It's no, it's like soccer. The ball just keeps going. It could go, it could just keep going. Man. Where football is just like, all right, you set, you set, you set, boom, three seconds, the play's done. In rugby, you could go, it could be for two minutes before anything st- ends. Yeah. Ball's still going, still going. Get in your spot, get in your spot. Line out, line out, line out. Then <gasps> no, no, they like, they have a ruck, like a, they call it a ruck or a scrum. And then like they scrum, one guy gets the ball. And he comes back, well, some guy yeah. gets rid of it. I mean, you like lift people up and shit. Yeah. I've seen that. They like lift the dude up to catch a ball, like just throw it. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a fun yeah. sport, though. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. You got it. It's the same oh, thing. Oh, you ready? Simple as this. I'll stand on one end, and then whoever, whoever taps my hand first wins. That's it. I'll stand in like that. Oh, get set, go. Just like when you're in fourth grade. Let's go. Yo, think about it. Like, you know when most men were real men? When they were boys. That's some profound shit right there. Write that one down. Most men were real men when they were boys. Because when you're a boy, you don't think of bullshit excuses about why you're not going to do something. You just do it. If you, yo, if you, if you were 12 years old, you'd do that shit barefoot. Good. All right. What are you gonna say? On your mark. I'm gonna say on your mark. Get set. Go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh. Not bad, Jack. 
Who was it? Jack won. <laughs> I said, who tapped my hand first? Jack slapped my hand. Chris didn't tap my hand. That's a, yo, if Jack smart, that's a duo, but you broke the rules. All right, let's go. <laughs> no, 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 more. Because I thought I jumped the gun. That's why I was asking you. You did a little bit, but that's all right. Who won that one? Well, technically Jack won because he hit my hand, Chris. He's too arrogant to have my to hit my hand. To touch your hand? Yeah. But he passed you first? Yeah, he passed me first. It's like athletes that are so good that they think they can't, don't have to follow the rules. <laughs> Yo, people glorify that shit these days. Like I seen this little kid the other day at the store. He had on one of these Nike shirts that said, uh, talented but lazy. Yeah. I'm like, really? Get set, go! All right. All right, Jack. <laughs> Get him, Jack. <laughs> Get him, Jack. That was good. Both of you guys got your elbows going east and west like a motherfucker. <laughs> it don't matter, right? I'm taking any and all challenges out there. 235 pounds. That was close. Whatever, that was man. close. I'll try to what up, man? He cheated. <laughs> 